so today's video is so exciting. I know I say that a lot, but today's video is like extra exciting because... So ColourPop has come out with lip glosses. I feel like I'm screaming first off, but I feel like I've been waiting for this day for so long and I'm so excited. So these are available now. They launched on, hang on, I was just on ColourPop's site. They launched on, what's today? Today is, uh -huh. today's the 21st. So they launched on the 21st. They're $6 a piece and there are 21 shades. Yes, 21 shades. I'm gonna swatch all of them for you guys on my lips. I'm gonna do a voiceover just so it's a little quicker but I will do like live swatches. You'll see me applying them to my lips. You're not just gonna see it once it's already on. So that should help you to kind of see like how they apply, how the pigmentation is. I can already tell you that I've worn four of these so far and I'm totally 1000% in love. They're super soft, they're not sticky, they're very like cushiony. And I love them. I love the colors. I love that they don't have a smell. I love the way they apply. Everything about them is good. ColourPop totally hit it right on the head with these. They are phenomenal. I know my face is looking so much lighter than my body, but in person, it's not that bad. Maybe during editing, it won't look as bad. Does it look as bad during editing? Okay, anyway, let me just give you guys a little sneak preview. Is that not gorgeous? Now this, I know some of you will ask, this little case that these are in, I don't think you can buy this. They do these like for their PR, which I really wish they would make these available for people to buy because this is awesome. Like it's such a nice way to house all of your ColourPop glosses. I don't know why they don't make these available to the public. Maybe they will one day. I really hope that they do. So yeah, available now. If some of them are out of stock, I'm sorry, they will be back in stock. $6 a piece. So I think that's all that I wanted to tell you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the swatches. What is this? I don't know. Okay, starting out with one of my favorites. This one is Fairy Floss. This one, oh sorry, this one is so pretty. It's like the perfect milky nude. I feel like everyone will love this color. It's just very universal and I love this one. I love it. It's one of my two favorites. It's Look how pretty that is. Like how could you not love that? Ugh. Ugh, the formula of these is so amazing. I freaking love them. This is my favorite one. This is tight fit. It's a metallic finish. There are four finishes. There's cream, sheer metallic, metallic, and sheer. So this one is one of their metallic finishes. I didn't really notice a difference between the two metallic finishes, but they say there's four, so I'm just putting it out there. But this color is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, I love it so much. It's in my purse right now and it is going nowhere. I'm obsessed. The next one is WeHo. And this one is, I think this one was a cream finish. I'm editing on my new iMac and it's totally different than my MacBook, so I like can't see what's coming up. So we're kind of winging this. But this one is another universal shade. It's just like a soft nude. I feel like it's a color that everybody loves. And you don't even need to put a lipstick under some of these, like they're so pigmented. And there's no smell. There's no stickiness. They're just, the formula is so incredible. This one is my jam. You guys, this is a metallic finish. It is out of control. I love this. I love metallic lips. They're like my number one obsession right now. And the fact that this is not like a liquid lip that's gonna dry down and it's so comfortable just makes me love it even more. Look at that, look at that, it's so pretty. I, I was like dying, because I hadn't tried that one on before, I don't think, and oh my God, I just love it so much. Okay, moving on, this one is Bestie. I feel like this is another one that's gonna be very universal, like everybody's gonna love this one, because it's just a soft, milky pink. I need a gloss to be milky in order for it to be a favorite, or metallic, those are my two requirements. <sighs> Moving on. Bestie. Love it. Gorgeous. So pretty. Formulas. Kick ass. This one is A Boo. This was a really neat color. It had like the tiniest bit of 
like iridescence or something in it. There was something in it that was making it a little bit unique. Do you see that? It's not totally like a sheer pink. It had a little kick in it and I loved it. Oh, get it girl, shake that body. Okay, the next one is Piranha. This one, I didn't even, like, I didn't even think this was going to be a favorite of mine, but after I put it on, I really, really love this one. It's a, I think it's a sheer finish, but, I mean, that's pretty pigmented. So, I think this one is gorgeous by itself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that one. And I think it would look pretty over, like, a nude gloss. I mean, a nude lipstick or liquid lips. I love putting gloss over top of liquid lips because I can't stand that dryness. Um, next one is Thoughtful. I love this name. I love this color. It's a sheer finish and it has, it's like the perfect mix of pink and lavender. And it's just, it's like so summer appropriate because it's still very soft, but you still get a little bit of color. I love this one. And that name just trips me out. Moving on to Catalina. I don't know what's going on with my computer. It just like made this loud noise at me. Anyway, this one is called Catalina. I kept getting fuzzies in my lips. Just ignore me. This one in the tube looked very purple and I didn't think I was going to love it. But after I put it on, I was very, very happy with the way it looked. It, I love how these just have that soft little wash of color. I think that's so gorgeous. And yeah, I really like this one. I know I'm like a broken record. Oh, I really like this one. Soft wash, but that's what you're getting. And they're so nice. They're just freaking nice. This next one is Finders Keepers. And this one is a cream finish. The cream finish is the most pigmented finish out of these guys, in my opinion. This one wasn't too pigmented. Like some of them are so insanely pigmented that it's kind of crazy. This was just like the perfect amount. I love this one. I think it's really pretty. I feel like it's going to be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. So yeah, I was happy with her. Moving on to Wolfie. This one was a really cool one. This is a metallic finish and this one was like a coppery red shade. I like that they have these metallic ones because you can still like do the whole metallic lip trend without having to get it in like liquid lipstick form because not everybody loves that me being one of those people um so yeah i love these i feel like i'm gonna wear the metallic ones a ton because they're so comfortable i didn't think i was gonna like this one and after i have it on and seeing it now and like on my computer screen i think it looks so pretty it's a really neat shade and after Wolfie, we have Master Plan. This one was, let me look at this one in the tube. Yeah, this one looked really dark in the tube, but going on, it was really, really nice. Even though it was a cream finish, I thought it was gonna be like really pigmented, but it was just the perfect amount of color. It wasn't too much. And I think it's a really pretty shade. It's like a plummy mauve. Yeah, and none of them were patchy. Actually, I'm lying. There was one that was patchy, and I'll tell you it when we get to her, but for the most part, every single one just had a really nice formula. And the next one is Honey Bee. This one was pigmented. It's like a, a hot magenta pink. Yeah, this one reminded me more of a lip lacquer than a lip gloss, just because, I mean, look at that color payoff. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know how much I would wear this one. I'm usually not one for like hot pink lip gloss, but once this one is totally applied, it looks so pretty. You guys will see in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're almost there. Yeah, look how pretty that color is. And it's a cream finish, so it's pretty darn pigmented. And yeah, I loved her. I thought she was pretty. Probably won't wear it that much, but I liked it. The next one. This one I actually liked and I didn't think I was going to. This one is Casino and this one is a sheer finish. Usually I'm not one for the whole, oh, it looks like you just ate a popsicle, like tint, red tint to your lips. But this one I liked because it wasn't too much red. It was almost like a soft, like pinky red and I ended up liking it. I thought it was really nice. I feel like if you had no makeup on and you just put this on, it would just make you look a little bit more alive. I don't know, I thought it was the perfect amount of color. After Casino, we have Tokyo Tea, you guys. 
look at this pigmentation. Tell me that's a lip gloss. That is a freaking lip lacquer. I mean, it is pigmented. I love the way this one looked after it was applied. Like, I probably would never buy this one because like an orange lip gloss, I'm like, oh, I'm never going to wear it. But I, I really ended up liking this one. It's so bright. It's so just like packed with color. And the formula was nice. It was not goopy. It was not thick. Right? Look how pretty that looks. I don't know. I really like this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wear this one. That's totally... T what? That is totally out of my comfort zone. But I don't know. I'm kind of digging that one. Next one is Taro, and this one is a cream finish, so this one, again, is like crazy pigmented. I love orange lips, but usually I do it in matte form, but I don't know. I may step out of my comfort zone. I'm really inspired by a lot of these colors. I just think they're really neat. They're perfect for summer, but like when I watch that when I do my other lip, like look at that pigmentation. ColourPop threw tons of pigment in these little bad boys. Yeah, I like that one. Um, can we talk about the fact that I have the ugliest lip gloss applying face in the history of the world? No one can beat it. No one can beat it. Look at this face. Like, that's not cute, Nicole. That's not cute at all. Okay, I guess you want to know what this lip is called. This one is called Saddle Up, and this is a sheer finish. This turned out to be one of my favorite shades. This one in the bottle or in the tube looks extremely orange, like super crazy bright orange, but it's very sheer and it's very, very pretty. I really, really like this one. Yes, a fan. The next one, you guys, I have to prepare you for this next one because it is out of control. This one is called Cheat Code and it's a metallic. I have never before seen a color like this. I don't even know how to describe it to you. It's like a bronze, a coppery bronzy shade. The pigmentation was off the freaking chain. What? Do you see? Do you see that? I mean, I don't know what ColourPop thinks they're trying to pull on us, but I mean, this was not a lip gloss. This freaking thing was packed full of color, which, hey, I'm not complaining. I just think it's like the most pigmented gloss I've probably ever seen. I don't know if I love this one on me, but the formula was great. The next one is Dropout, and this one in the tube is really dark brown. This was the one that I had a little bit of trouble with. The formula, even though it's a sheer formula, it was still a little bit patchy. I did have some trouble with this one. I just couldn't get the color to be like uniform. It kept wanting to kind of separate and like you can see just the application doesn't look that great I don't know I I did not like this one mm -mm. the formula for this one was kind of a miss for me oh my god you guys this one is called crystal ball and it's a metallic <laughs> look at this pigmentation I know I keep repeating myself but this was like the worst application ever because I was not prepared I thought it was just going to be like a uh, you know, a gloss that I would just slap on. This thing was freaking pigmented out the ass. So my application was a little crappy. Look at that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would wear this one like a metallic forest green lip gloss to me is very intimidating. But if this is your thing, like if you like this color, this formula was incredible. Perfect formula. Extremely extremely pigmented. I cannot stress that enough. Yeah, I didn't love that one on me, but that is one coat. Like, I didn't keep going over it. That's just one layer. Okay, the last one. This was another fail for me. The last one is called Fluff, and this one is a cream finish. When I saw this in the tube, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, this, this true gray lip gloss, which nobody has done, have they? Does anybody have a gray gloss? I don't. Um, but this one, uh, the color just totally like washed me out. But if you're looking for a gray lip gloss, ColourPop has you covered. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but yeah, it just wasn't my favorite. But hey, that's just me. If you guys want a gray gloss, 
awesome formula. So that's it. I just took this time to show you guys the applicator. It's just like a little fluffy doe foot, really nice applicator. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! sure they're straight. You have to make sure they're not back here. This is a high maintenance operation. A bitch just don't care. A bitch don't care. Remember that. Oh, look at my holographic cup. I already showed you guys. And my camel's asleep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Totally fast asleep, snoring, drooling. Oh, that's not a good visual. A drooling camel is a sick camel. And that should be taken to a doctor. If your camel is drooling. Oh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Oh my god, is that another hair? Are you joking? It is. What the? fluff ball. I mean, is this really that bad of a look? I think I'm fine. So my husband just told me it looked like I was wearing a leash. Totally bursted my bubble. Can I use my La Mer powder to balance my mirror? Oh, genius! Thank you. I agree. <laughs> Do I have to take it off? It's so pretty. No, I don't want to take it off. No, you can't make me. Shut up. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Shut up! Oh my god, my jam is my motherfucking jam. Come on, you gotta put your foot on the gas here. You are slow. Come on, bitch. Do this. What is this one? Thoughtful. That's you. You damn thought. What did you say, bitch? Oh, fuck you, huh? Why does that look like I'm taking a poop? <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> There's a freaking fuzzy and I don't got to snack on it. Hmm. I don't want it. I can't get it on. I can't get it on. Come on. Seriously. That is so disgusting. This, this is not cute on me. It looks like I put, like, wet cement on my lips. Is that cute? If it was a liquid lipstick, maybe. But the gloss formation? Let's get information.